my art portfolio. Here, I will show all my artworks that I created in this course, my artist statement, and the evidence of the creative process for two of my artworks. All my works are shown chronologically. So first is my self-portrait. I will show you my creative process. I was thinking about what ways to draw the self-portrait. I have three ways. First is to just use oil pastels. Second is to use watercolor or color pencil. Third is to use Chinese calligraphy brush. After much hesitation, I thought I need to use the color pencil because Chinese calligraphy brush is exaggerated. It is hard to control the amount and the brightness of water, and I will easily make mistakes in detail, and it cannot be changed. The oil pastels uses a lot of different color blocks. For me, I want to be more formal and serious. I want myself to look real, so I can describe the edge first because I often sketch in pencil before. I used to that way. I chose to use the photo on my student's card, which is more formal and looks good. I used a pencil to find the general position and the outline. The lines are light. For better modification later, the width of the head is about one third the width of the paper, and the length from neck to crown is about half the length of the paper. I drew a shape of features, the light and shade of the face, the wrinkles are in the clothes. I looked at the position of the person on the paper, but I didn't look at the proportion of the person. I observed that the width of the face should be five eyes long, and the length of the face is generally divided into three parts: hairline to elbows, elbows to the bottom of the nose, nose to the chin. Each part should occupy one third of the length of the face. So I moved the nose down a little bit and changed some of the edges of the chin. I used the black colored pencils to accentuate the shades and the shapes of the hair, elbows, glasses, and wrinkles. I started using color pencils and tried a lot of colors on another paper, and I picked the two that worked the best. Repeat the thinking with pencil, especially at each edge where the color changes. Then I erased the edges of the original outlines, which were replaced by the expansion of colors. I saw the whole clothes were white, so I left some white at the bottom of the paper, which is gradually changed white, so that it can also echo the blank on the head, leaving people's imagination space. Finally, the value is changed along the lightness, where the depth is deep. But I'm sorry that I, after the photo was taken, the color of where it is lightened. Actually, it is darker.、Uh, in my opinion, the most difficult part is consumption.、Uh, is consumption. The planning before doing it. It、uh, may takes a long time because I can't make up in my mind. The most important part is revision and、uh, refinement. I need to make、uh, some changes in order to find the best way to do it. I think I didn't draw enough before. This time, I think it's not bad. So, but I need more practice. Not to say just one piece of work into many details at a time, but in continuous learning, the experience accumulated in the creation. These are the two eyes that I drew. It took me a long time, about three to four hours, mainly because this is my first time to draw the eyes in more detail. I needed to watch the guide video while I was drawing it. Although it is not easy, the visual effect is good. These three pictures are value training. It is just an exercise, but it is very fundamental. It is my first time using watercolor, and I learned a lot. These are Cubist still life. I chose a picture from the Good Food advertisement, and I cut them in segments and arranged them in a different way. They are all one-time success, completely reassembled by my feeling. 
and I label them in my sketchbook. This is also a Cubist style still life. I first practiced on the sketchbook with pencil, and then I used watercolor. I just used one color, but I have different values of color to show the changes. This is an assemblage. Some are drawings, some are cut and paste. All the things represent my self-identity. It makes me feel quite different. It is three-dimensional, a new kind of artistic expression. This is the watercolor wheel. It includes primary colors, secondary colors, and tertiary colors. The result looks cool. I think it is easy when you find the right ways to mix the colors. This one is a snow-covered landscape. Uh, it is very interesting. I feel free one day and wanted to draw something random, and I chose the scenery outside the windowsill. Only the door frame and the windowsill were finished. Why I knew I was going to paint a landscape, I wanted to complete the whole view outside the window. I mainly used the white space to stand out the snow. I feel the overall painting is very good especially through the landscape outside the windowsill, giving people a different visual effect. This is a mixed media landscape, and I will show my creative process. I observed the, the paintings in the Japanese Edo period and the post-impressionism, discovered that mountains, flowers, and trees, and pastoral scenery are some main elements. So I want to arrange them together in yeah, an oil or pastels painting. I found some landscape pictures I took before for reference. Then I use a pencil to sketch the outline lightly, using grass, flowers, and fields as the foreground, taller grass, and trees as the middle ground, mountains as background. I started to color the first layer, the grass in the front, the grass in the middle and the trees are all dominated by green, but they are gradually getting dark. All things are colored at least one layer. For the second layer, the mountains on the right are covered by silver and some white. The mountains on the left are covered by dark green and some brown. I added some dark green on the mountain on the right and also left some blank so that the concave and the convex of the mountains are reflected. I added some white on the stone roll in the front, which helped to distinguish and contrast to the mixed gray on the mountains. The dark green also on the light grass in the front, so that the whole thing didn't feel monotonous. The branches of the tree have a good transition from brown below to dark brown above, supporting the overall structure of the tree. Finally, I drew the crops in the fields, and dotted the small flowers on the light green grass in the front, dipped the grass in the middle to distinguish them from the grass at the foot of the mountain, and uh, accentuated the color of the trees to make the main scene in the background stand out more and color the white blank areas on the mountains with orange yellow, make the texture rough and real. The overall feeling and visual effect is nice. I think mainly because the lines and the colors in the foreground are arranged in a trapezoid towards the scenery behind. So the trees and the mountains became focal points. There is an asymmetrical balance between the two towering trees on the left and the towering mountains on the right, giving the whole landscape a natural beauty. The whole gives the rural idyllic feeling, the good arrangement of the scene, and a sense of color led to the success of the painting. As an artist, I can create various artworks in many different ways. Drawing, painting, use different colors or mediums, photography, design, and so on. I will try to use art to express the things I like to do, or develop some new method in art. I think art is to use some media 
or means to express beauty and their own feelings. The main responsibility of artists is to record the people or things around them in all different of ways that they think are beautiful. I can major in art in the future and get a degree in art, or I can do something else in university and then switch to arts when I become a graduate student. My future goal as an artist is to learn more knowledge in art. And then establish my own painting and design style. I plan to take grade 11 and grade 12 visual art in high school, and also I can try technological design if I have more rooms in my timetable. I'm not sure yet about what type of art I want to create, but I know the more practice, the more I learn, the better the results and the directions will be. Finally. Thanks for the knowledge and the skills this course has given me, as well as the opportunity and the motivation to draw and perform art.